Hello everybody and welcome back to the Purbeck Valley Farm Series. So I am currently in the process of harvesting this field here and it does seem like a very long time since the previous episode. It was actually six days ago so that's because we had the bonus episode of Survival Roleplay. That will not be happening this week so we're going to have two episodes of Purbeck and I really do hope that we will be able to do a bonus episode of Survival again but we'll have to um, make a date for that in the future. Probably, I, th I think probably once a month it'd be a good idea to do a bonus episode. That's what I'm sort of thinking. Anyway, let's just see if a worker can uh, harvest it. I think it can do. Because what we need to do is take this cultivator back over to the farm and we need to uh, drop it off and put a drill on the back because these two fields here need to be drilled for next year. Hopefully we can get there and back before that combine is full. It would be good not to have any downtime. So it is actually a continuation of the previous episode as in, say, two minutes later in game time. Uh, I didn't want to skip another day because we only have one day left before winter is here. And of course we can't drill in the winter. We have to make sure everything is in the ground that we want to have in the ground for next year before the winter arrives. And so far we have absolutely nothing in the ground. Now I do also want to do some uh, some story spreading, but I don't know if we're going to get onto that today. We also have this field here, that needs to be drilled, and we also have plenty of grass fields, so there is just so much to do. An amazing amount of work to do. We can get another cut out of these fields, and it would be good to do that because that's going to be quite a bit of money's worth. I'm also still in the process of selling the silage. We do have some silage left. Not a huge amount. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, at midnight we are going to be paid quite a bit of money. It's not going to be the, the massive sums of money you get in the base game. We are running season, so the price of uh, silage is drastically reduced. Come on, let's get it in here. Yeah, it, it's still a good price. I think it's about 450. I'm not 100% sure. We will have to take a look. Ah, oh, this is <laughs> not really working. Okay. The cultivator is in position. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is um, 450. It is, yeah. It's like a flat rate. It never changes, I don't think. So, this is our drill. I never actually did return it. I was supposed to return it, but decided that we should probably just keep it. Whee! <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we're currently set to oilseed radish. We need to put it on... Well, I think it's going to be oats. Oats are fine at this time of year, I believe. Yep, oats are fine. We shall do oats. Although, actually, come to think of it, although it is the right time of year, the ground temperature is only 5. And oats require six, whereas the wheat and the barley take five. So does canola. Hmm. What a pickle. I think it will still work. I have been wrong many times before, but I think it will work. And we're quite low on seed. We shall fill it up. I can't see a seed pallet at the farm. We might have one somewhere, but I can't see one. Besides, we always need seed, so even if we do have one buying another is not an issue but as I said at midnight when we get paid it'll be a welcome amount of money I think my lorry might still be at the BGA um, okay I have absolutely no idea where it is it's somewhere beautiful look at that Seasons just brings this game alive. Yeah, anyway, the lorry is at the BGA, so we're going to retrieve that in a minute or two. I don't think we're going to get back to the combine before it's full. But at least it's in soybeans, so it's going to fill up fairly slowly. That's our new seed pallet. Should take it all. It does go quite a long way. However, that is only 54%. So I think it would be silly not to put a bit more in. Okay, 
That's the second one going in. Even that won't fill it. Right then, yeah, off we go. I'm going to set a course play uh, course and hopefully it's going to be able to do it. It did have a little bit of an issue with the cultivating, but I think it's because I started the tractor off in the wrong place. This farm on the left hand side here, we are going to be buying as soon as we can afford it. Looks really nice. But that'll probably be a few episodes yet. It's a hundred and something thousand pounds. Well, I haven't seen a message say that the combine is full. It looks like it's harvested half the field in the time we've been away. That's really impressive. Uh, yeah, I think it's still going. That is impressive, actually, because I only made it round twice, I think, before it was full. We shall check up on it. It may well be full. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, let's just put this here. 73% so we can unload going back up. That is strange. Uh, somehow the yield doesn't seem as good. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining another save game or something on another map. Anyway, let's unfold this. Let's turn those beacons off. Not too sure if this is the most sensible field to start with, but yeah, I, I will start with it. Um, Fertilising and seeding, course generation, field number four, headland... Uh, yeah, go around three times or something. That should be fine. Looks simple enough, but it's quite heavy work. It gets pretty steep. Um, yeah, and that should all work fine with a bit of luck. Now, ah, oh, just realised, uh, that probably isn't a direct drill, is it? It has missed a few pieces of cover crop. I was sort of just hoping it would cultivate it in automatically. It might not do. I might have to just um, get that cultivated. Oh no, that's good. Additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing required. That is good. Okay, so into this. Yes, I'm going to have to return this uh, because, yeah, it's not mine. I'm going to have to start paying rent on it. I kept saying it. It means that we can actually rent a different model if we want to. Uh, we could go for anything. This is a very extended demo that we're having. Look at that timing. So we did manage to get back in time. That is surprising. Very surprising. However, it might not all fit in. Still, with a bit of luck, we'll get to the sell point and return before it's full again. Must be quite a bit that's come out there. Okay, so we'll check the best price for soybeans. Hopefully it's somewhere fairly close. Come on, save. Uh, yeah, let's just see here. Soybeans. Oh, wow, that is a good price. Gateway Industrial Park. That is at the... well, it's opposite the shop. I know exactly where to go for that. Although, do I know the fastest way? I would say... Yes, we'll, we'll cut down as if we were going to the BGA. Come on, tractor. Actually, as we're going directly past the store, it means that we can just um, yeah return the demo tractor and rent another if we can afford it <laughs> that's the thing uh, when we've sold this we should be able to for a second I thought they were closed but no we have to open the gate This should be, I would hope, a pretty good price. What would it be? About £25,000 roughly. Just guessing there. Um, that should be tipping. There we go. Oh, 
Well, the money's shooting up. It's a good sign. Twenty-two four eight four. I can live with that. That's not a bad price at all. Right, so yeah, into the uh, dealership here. We don't have to go for the same tractor. Although, to be honest, I don't really know what the alternative would be. Okay, so just looking through them, we have the Fast Track 8000 series. So we have the 8280 and the 8310. Um, I think, yeah, this one is fine. Just see the price difference for renting. 11475, 12240. Okay, so you do get quite a bit more power with the 8310. So that could be worth it. Wide tyres. Oh, look at those. Sports tractor. Definitely sporty. Uh, wow, there really is a good selection here. Actually, I, I really like those. They are so chunky. Uh, so yeah, look, we'll lease that. And we'll get that put onto the trailer. It does seem a bit much for the trailer, but we'll be using it for cultivating and stuff. Wow. Wow. I must say, this is an absolute beast of a machine. It feels like more than 320 horsepower. Well, I don't know if the combine will get to the end of the field without being emptied, but we are on the way. Let's head back. We have no beacon. Oh, well. Not to worry. Yes, that does look very big for the trailer. When we do get back, what I would do is unload the combine and then we'll bring the lorry back and we can get the silage pit completely emptied. We will also see how the drill is getting on. Hopefully it's getting on very well. It looks like it is in the middle of the field, but it could just be doing the headlands, it could be at the top. And worker F is pretty much at the end. In fact, worker F is full of grain. This tractor is also faster than the New Holland. The New Holland was a very good tractor. But this brings the speed. JCB fast tractor. It all makes sense. Yeah, the uh, the drill is currently just doing the headlands. I'm just hoping that it is actually putting the right crop in. Because that looks quite green from a distance. Which I think is what the cover crops do. But yeah, I'm fairly sure I selected the right crop. Yeah. It's on oats, so that's absolutely fine. Right, okay, so as you can see, it's just finishing the final little piece. We shall get that emptied. Now, this field here, which we're currently in, is the field which I want to put some slurry on. So we'll bring the big tanker across and we'll get some slurry on as soon as we have some time. Maybe today, maybe after we've uh, sorted out the silage, that'd be good. That's an impressive view. Very impressive. It's also taking ages to unload, so yeah, you get so much in one tank. Or it just has a very slow unload auger. Let's just crawl towards the, uh, the tractor. Okay, there we go. Um, 8,000 litres. Well, we know exactly where it's going to be full. Oh no, there is a piece left, actually. Yes, I don't think it would be intelligent enough to come back for that, so we'll have to do that. But we shall go over here. In what is now one of my favourite lorries in the game. This is so good. You even get a big light bar. Ooh. Oh yeah, and also one of my favourite trailers, which I did upgrade. I did actually put a higher capacity on it just because we'd be carting for ages otherwise. I can't remember exactly how much there was left, but I think we were nearing the end. Now I have actually learned how to do this properly. Uh, the first time I actually decided to try and reverse into the yard, and that was a complete failure. So, the way that I do it now is to sort of go across here and back around the corner. I 
that as far as I can see is the most efficient and fastest way of doing it except I turn too late right uh, oh wow it's a big pile okay so we need to turn the belt on it's working making its way to the top and yeah we have in here 155,000 litres the capacity of our trailer I think is 80,000 so we have two loads roughly uh, just less than two but we'll leave it to it, it does actually take a while to fill the drill is absolutely flying that just goes to show what the enhanced vehicle mod does for you amazing uh, and yes, the combine harvester, it, it has finished, kind of. It's, it's got a little piece left to do. We'll do that ourselves. And I think, really, the priority is to move the drill to the other field and also to do some slurry on here. And I think we'll actually be able to get all these fields drilled before the winter, which is good. I didn't think we would do. Okay, that is finished. Uh, so I'm just going to very quickly touch on the topic of survival roleplay. And I know that there, there were a few people who were sort of uh, voicing their opinion quite strongly in the previous episode, saying stuff like, what's the point in buying a farm which needs loads of work and stuff? Well, without trying to ruin the, uh, the roleplay here, uh, the point of it is to keep the videos fresh, to put it simply. Uh, there's not really much fun in buying a farm which needs nothing doing to it, because then all, you, all you're doing is just really harvesting the same fields continuously, which I know is what you would do in real life, but uh, for a survival series, it's not really what I'm looking for. I want everything to be different and original. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we've got 74% in there. You can also probably tell that my voice sounds different again today, because today, for some reason, I've got hay fever badly again. It's not usual that I have it twice in a week, but apparently this week is a is the chosen week for that. So, uh, yeah, you might not be able to tell, but I probably sound croakier than usual. Anyway, yes, what we'll do is we'll go and sell this, and then... It will be time to go and do some story spreading, as I've already mentioned. So we'll get the big tanker taken up to the field. We'll get the whole field spread today. And the good thing is, because it's got a double gate, we can just take the combine half out of there without taking the header off. I will return the combine soon, but yeah, it just gives me a bit of time to, uh, to not do that. We can just move it. Yes, I must say, I really do like this speed tractor, although we can't really do much speed with this traffic. I'm doing 18 miles per hour. Does this person in front not realise this is a 60 mile an hour road? 60! Crikey! Goodness me! Lovely soybeans, looking really good. That's actually uh, quite a good feature that they could put into the game. If they, if, if you have a lower yield or just a worse crop, then maybe the, the grain could look a bit worse. Or if you harvest it early, then it could have green bits in it. I don't know. There's just so many different things that you could do. I suppose it just depends if it's worth doing. Okay. I've got lost. No, here it is. So that's probably going to be about uh, 14, no, 18,000 pounds worth. Sixteen eight five one, good enough. <laughs> right, so yeah, we'll, we'll do what I just said. We shall head back, we shall get things set up, and I will use this tractor. It would be nice to use this tractor to tow something, probably the big tank.
Well, we have 22,000 litres. I have no idea if that's going to be enough. I really do hope it is. Um, but yeah, the, the tracks are going to be running fairly slowly since it's going to be probably struggling to pull it up the hill. Uh, we could put it on a bigger tractor, we could put it on the JCB. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let's just fill that up. It is only 22,000 litres, which is probably about four of these, is it? What is it? We've got 8,000 here, so yeah, it's actually not even three. Let's just make sure we've got it on a... It's on, it's on the least, it's on the slowest uh, application rate, uh, but even so, it does still get through it fairly quickly. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I'm not holding out too much hope. I think we might run out. But anything is a bonus, really. Uh, it's it's free after all. So if we do have to just put a bit of artificial fertilizer on, uh, then at least we're not covering the whole field. It's just that little piece. Because this field hasn't benefited from the green manure, like those two have. And I think the worker for that might have got confused. I've seen it driving around in circles a few times. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we're doing 9 miles per hour currently. Let's see if we can maintain it. I doubt it, but, you know, if we get down to 6 or 7, it's not too bad. Already down to 70% though. As I said, we'll just cover what we can. Things, so believe in me. I believe in you, and I just feel that this will be an upswing. So hear me out. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go back there to a place with no cares. We can turn this ship around. We can turn this ship around all the way back home. All the way back home. I can guarantee you this is going to annoy you. It's going to be just short. Um, but it's still good, it's still fine, and actually we might get enough slurry back um, produced by the cows before we drill this, uh, so we can probably come up here again and just finish off. That is just annoying, <laughs> that is so close. If the tractor had just maintained the 10 miles per hour, or 9 miles per hour, instead of dropping to 7 or 8, then we probably would have done it. Okay, well, there we go. Can't really say it's finished, but... That's uh, as good as it can be, a close finish as it can be at the moment. So this has been driving around in circles continuously. Yes, it's a busy thing. In fact, it's made a bit of a mess. Maybe I shouldn't have told it to do headlands. I'm not sure. I'll just tidy things up a bit here. And then, yeah, next time it can go into the other field, which should be easier anyway. At least it did cultivate the uh, the cover crop. As it turns out, we didn't have to cultivate it first. Because this cultivates for you. But there we go. I think to finish off with, we'll just go over to the yard. It is full, the trailer. Uh, we'll take it over to the BGA. We'll tip it, and then next time we can fill it up with the final piece. It should be less than 80,000 litres. Good grief. 80,238. Shows my calculation before was a little bit off. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, at midnight, if we can get everything to the BJ before midnight, that's never going to get around there. Then, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be really good. Let me just work this out. Nice and wide. Okay. Let's get it tipped.
the final 500 litres after the 80,000 can just go into the feed mix, it's fine. More for us, anyway, so <laughs> yeah, can't complain. Right then, so here we are, the BGA. And yeah, as I, I don't know how much we've got here. Currently waiting to be paid, but it should be a good payment. Which I will show you at the beginning of the next episode, although we'll have to fill the trailer up again. It's a really good amount, 83. I could have adjusted it to anything, but we were sort of at risk of making it unrealistically high, the capacity of it. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. There's a tiny bit more to tip. Bye for now.